hi guys what's up this is not a vlog this is more of a should i say a series a design series i'm very very excited a lot has happened and the thing is that i've been thinking that oh how am i going to sort of let you guys know what i'm up to i just realized that i actually have to be serious and document it would make more sense for me to document what i'm doing than to just stay and not do anything let me just give some context i've been making the signs for almost as long as i can remember recently i've been trying to sort of build up my design portfolio it's summer break so i'm really not like doing anything let me just apply for an internship i think it was only like two that i applied for so i now got one that was for like three months and it was supposed to begin legit almost immediately so i was like okay let me join them and so i applied i didn't really expect any feedback let me not lie for you Food good i said father okay, this one is for me just let me have it and funny enough miracle happened lo and behold they actually shortlisted me <laughs> there was 100 and something applicants and now it's six applicants but somehow i'm proud and they now called me out during the meeting. Should I say because I didn't learn design the official route, I just sort of learned by doing it. So because of that, I was like, you know what? Let me just stop all these things I'm doing. So I found a course and here I am. It's not like I'm not starting from scratch. This is a design journey series, but I'm not starting from scratch. This is sort of just me trying to learn design. All I know is that by the time I come out of this three month holiday, it's not even three months, it was four months. So it's not even a full three months. I don't know if I'm going to call it, but by the end of three months or two and a half, whatever the length, I should be solid in design. And I guess I'm probably wondering. What's this angle? Don't vex with me, please. This video is meant to drop Sunday. So now is that I figured out I wanted to start filming on Friday. So today is Saturday. I sort of have a, should I say, idea of what I want the content to be like. I'm going to give you guys a breakdown of what I've learned so far. And I'm going to try and turn that into a design i'm still going to be using canva for now mostly because i am not yet ready to go to figma because the stress is much i have just highlighted the things that i want to learn i sort of got like a design process the person that did the course is on youtube so if the course is out on youtube or if the video related to it is out, i'll probably link it down below he sort of gave a design process and for me that was very crucial because i have been waiting for a solid design process a product design that's ui ux i have a design process graphic design i sort of don't apply the same laws the process that i was giving was the discovery concept design visual design and then the presentation of the design i've not gone very far because i'll tell you that i'm very lazy so right now he has covered the discovery process i think what i've learned so far is just how to better research concerning design so like there were a lot of things i didn't know a lot of things i haven't learned but then it's more about um doing better discovery um looking more into your briefs and sort of really understanding the vibe and looking at the material that you're working with and so to make sure that i understand what i'm doing i'm going to take a design challenge so um you guys are probably going to be wondering oh how are you going to get your design briefs i'm going to tell you now i'm going to go to chat gpt and tell it to generate me a professional a professional looking brief like something you would see in an original document the only difference is i'm going to have to source for um stock photos but then the aesthetics and all of that uh, they're going to be there yeah. 
pardon me for looking like this but i'm finally done and i think we should just do a small review so um the prompt that was given to me by chat gpt um i don't think i'm going to put the full thing in this video because this thing's meant to go out tomorrow it is basically kind of like posts for an e-commerce sale website they wanted the, the goals were to highlight the summer sales that were going down i wanted something that was engaging that aligned with the brand identity and would lead to website clicks then they said that the uh, audience was age 18 to 35 years old summer fashion i sort of just took it as like swimsuits and like beachy vibes and like water vibes kind of so the key messages that they want said summer sales discounts and the call to action and they gave um, sample typography and they said that the vibe they wanted was energetic and fun that was where the issue was because i don't used to go out so when they said energetic and fun i was like i'm not even gonna lie to you every designer has their niche i'm someone that likes things that look simple and look a bit expensive so me trying to do um energetic designs it just wasn't for me <laughs> what i did was i knew that i wasn't going to get the vibe in one post so instead of doing one i did four so i've been on this for a couple of hours i don't remember when i started this i think i can check the first clip to know the time I don't think i'm going to do that i've been on this for a couple of hours and i have a total of four designs now i'm very very biased to the last two because they look the most simple they are more my vibe and my aesthetic so the first two if i don't put them side by side nobody will notice yeah work fast fast work fast fast you can't know that the clothes is not fine so i really 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 struggled with the first two but then in the last two i've kind of just moved my own vibe in and added some things to make it more you know to make it make sense so the process was like after i got these i showed you guys this paper before i went to unsplash i opened behance so i could see some um, e-commerce um samples they ended up using them because they wasn't they weren't my vibe in pinterest to, sit, to sort of search for the whole summer vibe kind of thing i found a few things but it wasn't really what i'm looking for but i had an idea of what i wanted to do after that that was after that was that was actually when i drew this um four plants that i had um i now went to unsplash to download some um, images to use in the designs i have it for four designs for you guys um yeah i wanted to record the process but the issue is i haven't learned how to um, record my laptop but i knew that it was going to be sort of a challenge for me because this is exactly out of my comfort zone it is good to go out of your comfort zone but this was exactly out of my comfort not still during me and comfort in this one it was still okay like I did the best I could and I think a lot of them came out okay. So I'm going to do the review in a few seconds. So these are the um, four designs that I have. This is the first one. I was sort of going for like a fun, a little bit vintage type of look. It didn't come out the way I wanted it to because I honestly didn't like it really like i liked it at first like i was all right with it but like i wasn't good with it the second one i was kind of going for this kind of airy kind of vibe i didn't end up liking it too much so that's why i just like it's some people someone's aesthetic but it's not mine so i didn't really like it the third one i was debating whether or not i really had to add anything to this like i was debating whether i would not just leave it plain whether i would not just allow it let it run but by the time i did it i said if this was a real advert this would be what would carry me to the website like it's giving aesthetic and then this last one i was just like i was so happy with the third one that i didn't think i would actually do another one that i would like 
and i would actually say that the last one i don't know if you guys know but the last one took the least amount of time for me like it was so sharp barely took me 10 minutes to do and like the aesthetic is something that i also like which is surprising so, so these are the four designs for a first attempt of actually following a design um pattern i don't think i did that bad but then in my opinion number three and number four are my favorites so those will be the ones i will put on my portfolio so thank you guys if you made it to the end of the video hopefully this would be a weekly series by the grace of god <laughs> by the grace of god this would be a weekly series because business is to catch me but i'm designing a lot more now um i already have the next project i'm meant to get done this week i have a few projects i'm going to get done this week and then i have um my internship so hopefully you guys have seen a lot more videos concerning this so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video